most believers want to walk in victory they want to walk in power I, I, I tell you why I'm teaching you this please look up by reason of our background and I don't say this to insult our background most men most humans most Africans most Nigerians I presume come from backgrounds where for some reason sincerely or otherwise your sense of confidence and self-worth has been eaten into by the realities of your background are we together so the average person who is conscious an adult has already been wounded to a life of defeat wounded to a life of mediocrity are we together when the holy spirit wants to use you he does not use you carrying the backlog of a defeated mentality a defeated consciousness he begins to re-engineer your mind and while you are giving all the excuses like my illustration about my village the son giving all kinds of excuses like gideon i am the least in my father's house and my father's house is the least of all the tribes god still calls you a mighty man of valor hallelujah now you are never going to be able to serve the purposes of god at a global scale having a defeat mentality there is such a thing as a dominion consciousness there is such a thing as a victory consciousness are we together there's something needs to happen to you by reason of your knowing what christ has done it does not produce pride and boasting but it produces a healthy confidence that is able to squash through the limitations of your background that if someone were to see you yesterday and say you god is raising you to be a preacher rahab how can you be a preacher gideon how can you be a preacher paul how can you be a preacher a persecutor of the church once upon a time you can tell them i've been saved by grace i've been called into a life of grace and glory and if god has chosen to make me a great man of god to make me a great businessman then even though i don't feel i qualify my qualification comes from christ my sufficiency comes from christ there are many who are not able to do much for the kingdom because they think they have to earn that status by the works of righteousness the believer in Christ some of us today by the mercy of God are able to do the things that we do not necessarily because we are sufficient in ourselves we carry the consciousness that I am one with Christ now theologically speaking there are two aspects of the believers position in Christ that you must never forget number one we call it your positional advantage the Bible says you are being raised up with Christ it's a location in the spirit raised up with Christ together with Christ number two is your oneness you are a joint heir you know what that means that everything that is in Christ has been allowed to find legitimate access to my life if it's wisdom I have access to it if it's power I have access to it so I can lay hands on the sick ordinary hands these are the hands I was born with it's not like I came with it later on it came out as I was born but what is the difference now my understanding has done something to give allowance to the power of God over these ordinary hands are we learning now this life that I have is a life of Christ this life that I have is the life of God in me. So away, so away, so away, so away, so away, so away, so away. So this life that I have is the life of Christ. This life that I have is the life of God in me. So away, so away, so away, so away, so away, so away, so away. What does it mean to be a believer in Christ? I have access to victory. I have access to dominion. I have access to wisdom beyond this realm. 
are we together now i have access to command authority over satan principalities and powers what does it mean to be a believer that the life of god can find expression in me i can define my own possibilities i am no longer a victim of situations and circumstances my god as much as you hear something happens to you when it becomes spirit and life it may not be your fault that you were born in a certain way but the day you find christ it has brought you the advantage the advantage apostle i came from a family where people die early you are right but the moment you come into christ there is a consciousness that begins to build the vital side of redemption is at the mercy of the legal side of redemption don't be carried away by the fact that the result has not yet manifested it is consciousness first then obedience next then results later consciousness first and while the consciousness is there nothing in your life it will look like you are a liar you are believing things that are completely different from your reality but you believe this why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen they tell me I would die early because something, you know, what maybe some blood group or, geno or genotype, is, it was not my fault. And while that is true, I find this word and I believe it that I can redefine my possibilities. Let me tell you, while you are doing that job of believing, you will look like a fool for a long time. Because the way the mountain will look so high, one day you say this church thing, eh? let me not be a fool. Don't stop when it is one more push. Don't stop. It's like someone who has been trying to hit down a wall and it would take 40 hits and whilst you were on 38, you became so weary. No. He told um, the Naaman, bath seven times. If Naaman had stopped at the fifth or the fifth time, he would go back a wet leprous person. He needed to complete it. Who is learning yes i never i'm looking at the many many years ago version of me how would i ever believe that one day i would stand to be speaking and the nations will be hearing me it's a joke no my background would not have captured that possibility but jesus mm. this life that i have is the life of god in me this life that I